biggest. The economy, 38 percent, Russia, 38 percent, China, 37, border security, 37, and in inflation, he's at 31 percent. Not good numbers, Jimmy. He didn't get that post State oh. of the Union address bump that some people expected he would. No, this whole Biden presidency, it's felt like we're sitting through a bad haircut and just watching the haircut go downhill. You know when you walk into a barber shop and you're like, yeah, I don't know about this guy, but you sit in his chair and you're like, wow, what's he doing to the sides? That's the Biden presidency. It started off with like, wow, what's he doing to the border? Ah, oh, geez, this Afghanistan thing isn't that good. What's going on with inflation? And by the time you get out of the chair, you're like, never going here again. And that's where they are in the polls. No one has ever... Carly, this inflation is bad. I was watching Wheel of Fortune the other night. They couldn't solve the puzzle because no one could afford to buy a vowel. Oh, nice. That was, that was a good one. I like that one. You should use that one on the road. Quite frankly, the most important political summit of his career. That's right. This is presidency, obviously the most important one, yet he's ex um, the significance of this moment as one of President Putin's main objectives in this war. Mind when you consider how important uh, Russian around the country, around the world to basically a war D possibly uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, but you are and when he spoke to um, our own Congress, he brought up images of 9-11 and Pearl Harbor and talked about times when our skies were under attack. And he said, now, you space, there is very little appetite to do that in this country because it would mean that we would be in direct conflict. The president's meeting, and as you guys pointed to, this is not only...